Hey, I'm Ramona, and I'm about to show you something shocking. So take a. Thank you for watching our video. I hope the information we present it shows you how can anyone resist a food challenge. Food challenges are popping up all over the country in restaurants. Fudrickers nationwide will post your photo in the restaurant if you can eat their two pounds burger. Faux Garden Restaurant in San Francisco has a four pounds bowl of faux for twenty-two dollars with your picture on the wall as a prize as well. I've had my own food challenge experiences. Going back a few years, several friends from my dorm and I had the midnight munchies one night and a craving for none other than the greasy goodness that we all know as in and out What is so intriguing about a secret menu that is not actually a secret? From the secret menu, I've had a Neapolitan milkshake and I've eaten a 4x4. A 4x4 consists of 4 meat patties and 4 slices of cheese. Do not do it. The night my dorm friends had the munchies resulted in the heaviest food coma I've ever experienced in my life. I laid in bed cursing the monstrous burger and exclaimed that if I made it through the night without throwing up, I would never do such a thing again. The burger was unbalanced. You cannot expect two little buns, a bit of lettuce, a slice of tomato, and some cheese to balance out the heaviness of four meat patties. I might as well have driven onto Cal Poly's campus and eaten one of the cows they hold in the barns. What's even more disturbing is that I washed it down with a Neapolitan milkshake. That's right. A Neapolitan is a three-layered milkshake with strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. But we all wanted to know if we could make any combo of meat and cheese we wanted and whether I would be able to scarf it down. Now despite the unpleasant aftermath, do I plan on taking on more challenges? The answer is yes. I've once strived for the goal of finishing one tub of Baskin Robbins ice cream with a friend. We sat on a set of swings in a nearby park and tried to eat a tub each. I never learn my lesson because I always end up nauseous and laying around groaning. Food challenges are so enticing that there's even a new show on Food Network focused specifically on one man traveling the country taking on restaurant food challenges. If that's not enough, just watch Kobayashi eat an endless amount of hot dogs at the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Maybe this is just a reflection of our country's obsession with always wanting more than we need. But regardless of our country's fascination with large amounts of food, I'm definitely going to continue to indulge in ridiculous food challenges.